We literally just kicked the tour back off last weekend in Kansas City, Kansas City Improv. So um, now we're just kind of traveling the world. You know, we brought the world to Vegas for almost a year. And now we're kind of traveling everywhere. So next week, Detroit, leave from Detroit, go straight to Jackson, Mississippi, leave Jackson, Mississippi. Then I come home, I'll be on Windy City Live. And then after that, I leave and go to LA to shoot a new stand up. Then I come home and February 7th, um, the Showtime special that I shot with Monique, Monique and Friends or Monique Presents, um, will be airing, so that is a big deal. And then I go to the Cayman Islands. I don't even know what language that is, but I guarantee you this, I'm gonna tell some jokes over there, and guess what I'm gonna wear? Nothing. <laughs> I'm wearing my beach towel, okay? I don't know what I don't know what it looked like over there, but while y'all are enjoying All-Star Weekend and all of that, I'll be on the island, y'all can have it. Mm -mm, I'm tell I'm going to the island, so. I got some, I got some big stuff coming up. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about this year because everything is so unexpected. I'm performing at the, um, the expo for today's black women at the McCormick place. Like, um, I'm going to New York because I won. I'm one of the finalists for Saturday Night Live's Kenan Thompson's Road to New York comedy competition. That's coming up. I'm waiting on that. So I'm performing in Jamaica and Montego and uh, the grill. So y'all will see me everywhere. There is, I mean, you'll see me, um, or you'll hear my voice on WGCI. You'll see me on Lady with Leon. Like, I'm going, every, I want all of it. You know, stand-up is my baby. That's my bottom bitch. That's, she'll always be there. But when you are looking to do stuff on the bigger scale, you have people that are watching in places going, all right, you can stand up, but what else? So now, now I got to do the TV shows, and I got to write the pilots, and I got to, you might see me on a Jell-O commercial. They need somebody to replace Bill Cosby. And I might be it. But um, one of the uh, Chicago legends here is uh, producing a new uh, stand-up show for a streaming service. So a lot of comics are flying to LA um, to, to film. I don't want to drop the name just yet because it might be bad juju, but look for some more uh, comedy coming out because these streaming services are taking over and I'm excited about it. I remember when Netflix was the tell-all be-all, but now you got everybody, you got Hulu, you got Apple, you got, like everybody is streaming, so that must be the, the new wave. When I think about the companies like um, Netflix, because you know, a lot of times being with Monique, a lot of people will ask me how I feel about that. When I get to, I was one of those people before she and I um, was able to meet because I didn't have all of, all of the knowledge. I'm like, girl, you should have took that money. And then you could have just did your own special after that. And then they would have had to give you more money. But for me, once you get all of the information, because people kept saying, well, you can't bully anybody into giving you more money. It's their money. Whatever they feel like you should have, you should have. When the, the facts is, if you look at her resume, and you look at everybody else's resume. Let's say that you don't even have a name up there. Put the numbers on the table. Why is there such an astronomical difference? Just put the put the put the resumes out. Exclude the names, male, female, black, white. Put the if you put her resume aside. And here's the thing: what a lot of people didn't really understand, or what they looked over, was she's not saying that. The Eddie Murphys, the Dave Chappelle's, the Chris Rocks. She's not saying that they did not deserve it. She said that they deserve every dollar that they got. But so does she. Not because, oh, because I'm Monique, but numbers don't lie. People do. Put the resumes on the table. When I think about the ass whooping that she's taking right now because of the stand that she took, she won't even reap the benefits of it. Even with suing Netflix she doesn't know how it's gonna go. But it's like, I'd be damned if, if I didn't at least try. I can't be mad at somebody that's taking an ass whooping now so that when I sit at the table later, that I'll just get w just what's owed to me. Not anything extra, not anything, you know, like, oh, because she black, she deserves this and the other. Just what I've worked for. That's the only thing for me. And I, I, so I can't, I can't be mad at somebody that wants to stand up for me and who said, I'm 30 years in. 
I'm good. I got it. But because there's somebody else coming behind me, you guys need to make sure that you're doing right by them. I, you know what? I, I can't be mad at that because I'm looking at what happens. If you just take a typical flyer, take a typical comedy flyer with six people on it. You'll see one female. If you see two, you're doing really, really well. Comedy, just like a lot of, a lot of other entities in entertainment, is dominated by men. So because I'm a female and because I'm black, I have to get up before everybody else. I have to stay up longer than everybody else. I have to be louder. I have to be funnier. I have to dress a certain way, but you can't dress this way because now they're not paying attention to you. Oh, but you can't look frumpy because now you're fitting in with everybody else. You got to be careful what you say. Oh, well, you a black female. All we expect for you to talk about is dick jokes, uh, your kids, dating, and weight loss. So when I see my, my sisters like Tiffany Haddish go up and talk about being, uh, talk about her bar mitzvah and, and, and just doing different things. And when she stood up there on her special and she was transparent about how she bombed in Miami on the biggest tour of her life, nothing about dick, nothing about kids, nothing about, but just giving you that story. Now I can stand up and say, let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of stuff makes me proud. And guess what? I'm a girl. I'm going to talk about weight loss because that's part of my, I'm a mother. I'm going to talk about kids. I'm going to talk about fucking because that's what I like to do. But I'm more than just that. So don't box me in because y'all don't do that to the men when that's all they talk about. That's all you hear them talk about. You don't, you don't, you don't box them in when they're talking about relationships and, and fucking Nobody boxed them in, but the second you see a female, especially a black female, she angry, she gonna talk about this, she's gonna talk about that, she's gonna talk about that. Now you've put me in a box. So I think where I stood out is I would come out and I would try to avoid those things. And people were like, oh, we might have to listen to this bitch. Because there is a lot, there's a whole world out there. I can talk about all of that, but I can talk about it in a different light. All I'm saying is, we may never be able to be equal. And I, damn it, I don't even know if I want to be. I don't. I don't even know what I want to do, want to be. But I want to be fair. I want to be treated fairly. You know what I'm saying? And that's not too much to ask from anybody. Hey, we, we can do it. If Netflix call, if the numbers is right, you know, if, 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 if uh, Hulu call, if the numbers are right, if, if I'm being treated fairly, because a lot of people will say, well, since, you know, Netflix don't bother Monique, you know, they don't mess with Monique. Are you afraid that they won't, you know, that they they won't uh, hire you? If they do, great. If they don't, great. Because what's mine is mine, period. I'll, I'll be all right. Whether they do or they don't, they're, again, we have, we have, we're on a platform where everything is kind of exploding media-wise. So... If not, guess what? Damn it, I create my own platform. I'll create my own streaming service. Because who says that I can't? Who says that I can't? We are, we are so much more free now than ever before. That's why I love seeing people like Issa Rae. You know, I, I, I love seeing, you know, just people that will dive into different areas that Shonda rhymes. You know, when you see these names, Regina King, you know, so it, I'm I'm proud. And it's like, at this point, either you're going to give it to us or God damn it, we're going to take it. Now, what you want to do? Because we, we, we're we not wearing the, the, the skirts and sitting back anymore. We're taking the reins. And again, it's not that our brothers don't deserve it because they deserve every dollar that they get. And I saw Eddie Murphy come back on uh, Saturday Night Live. It was like, yes, but so do I, you know.